guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I think today we're going to do something that is long overdue, and that is to start tackling the interior of this house. I did a little bit between episodes, just kind of cleaning up the ceiling a little bit, making all the, uh, the stuff kind of even and whatnot so that we can get a proper little ceiling design going, which I think will be really good. I think that'll really help tie the whole place together and make it look nice. But then we also have to do a lot with, uh, you know, filling up all of this interior space. I think I want a basement as well in here, just to put like a super smelter and some of that kind of stuff, because there's not really enough room for it uh, up top. I suppose the other option would be we could make more buildings out here, to hold those other various kind of quality life uh, contraptions and farms and things that we're going to want as we go along here. But uh, maybe a basement. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Either way, I want to get to work on this house. I want to get started and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. All right, guys, I am back and I have got the ceiling all figured out. I think it turned out pretty well. We did a bunch of these kind of uh, sandstone cross beams and stuff, kind of like we did in the uh, the warehouse and the docks down over there last episode. Uh, and we kind of did that throughout this whole thing. I've left some spots where we're going to hang some chandeliers and stuff like that, like right here, probably from maybe not all of these, but a good portion of them. Uh, I think that'll look really nice. And it isn't perfect, like it, it's still a little janky in some spots, like right here, for example. But the way the roof is shaped, uh, it, I think it's about as good as it can be. I'm honestly very happy with it. Um, I think in order to do this like perfectly, I would have had to have planned the interior of this house out uh, before I built the outside, which is something that I probably should have done, but I just didn't. Uh, and honestly, I'm pretty happy with how this looks. I think it uh, it adds some interest. It looks pretty good. I've also gone ahead and sort of marked out areas here. So in here, we're going to have like a little bedroom area up here in this loft. I think that'll be nice. Over here, we're going to have kind of extra storage, which I think will be really good and honestly quite needed. And then over here, we'll have kind of like a lounge area with like some couches, some bookshelves, etc. And then going downstairs... This room right here, this big open space, I think we're going to turn this into like this really grand sort of dining room, which I think will look really cool. Over here, we'll have a little indoor garden area with a lot of like potted plants and stuff like that. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to use this space for, but I'll use it for something. And then over here, this is going to be kind of our kitchen area. We're going to take advantage of this nice sort of L-shaped wall right here to put a lot of uh, cabinets and all that kind of good stuff over here. We'll have sort of a grand entranceway right here. Uh, I think I'm going to leave this as chests, honestly, for storage. Uh, and then over here, this will be kind of like a little armory type area. Uh, as for functional things like a super smelter and all that kind of stuff, uh, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to add a basement to the house and put it down there or if I'm going to do kind of what we did with the warehouse and put them in a separate building altogether, which I think might be nice. I think maybe that's what we'll end up doing, is just making separate buildings for a lot of these kind of functional type builds. Um, so that'll be really good. But yeah, we got the ceiling mostly done. We got to add lighting and stuff up there, but we'll worry about that uh, probably last. That'll be one of the last things we do. And I think we're ready to start tackling individual rooms. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do.
Well, I have gotten quite a bit done during some live streams, so check this out. We have done a little kitchen in here, which I quite like. I think it's kind of this nice blend of sort of a almost modern kitchen feel <laughs> with sort of a medieval rustic sort of aesthetic. Lots of looms as shelves. I really like that little build hack. <laughs> who, I don't know who originally came up with it, but uh, it's brilliant and it totally works. We got uh, some counters made out of barrels here. So there's a lot of storage in this kitchen. A couple sinks. I got some smokers. So it's functional for making food, some bookshelves, you know, just different things to kind of fill up the space which I think looks really nice and some nice hanging lighting. Everything here is properly lit up. There's no spawnable stuff within this kitchen area. Moving into the next room, we have kind of this grand dining room, which I really like. We, we made a lot of use of sort of cyan wool and colors here to sort of brighten everything up. Um, so there's this big grand dining hall right here. Everyone's got their own little plate and cup <laughs> with their own meal uh, over here. This little bench kind of came together really well with some wool behind back there to act to sort of represent like a um, like a cushioned back. I think it actually turned out great. Um, this I decided to put a door in here and I haven't decided yet what I want to do with this space. This may be uh, a basement entrance if I decide to put a basement in this house. This would be the ideal place to put it. And if not, this can be storage or a closet under the stairs. You know, Harry Potter can live in there or something. Uh, over here, we've got like a little sort of indoor plant area. Like a think like a sunroom, I guess, would be kind of like the modern day equivalent. Just a lot of plants and greenery. Got some uh, some hanging plants and things just to sort of liven things up. Uh, but I think this is all looking great. And then the other room, the final room that I have completed upstairs is the bedroom in here, which I think is looking great as well. We got a, a very nice bed here. It's not functional, um, but we have a functional bed right here acting as like a little bench again. Uh, and then we've got some storage. You've got like a desk over here with some shelving, uh, a little wardrobe, you know, etc. I think it all works. I think the house is coming together really, really nicely. And at this, at this point, it's a matter of just kind of finishing off what's left. So we have sort of this upper area. Uh, and then we've got down here the entrance hall, the armory area over here. And then finally, this little kind of cubby hole over here uh, that I haven't... I, I still haven't decided exactly what I want to do with this space, but I do have a few different ideas. So let me dive into it and keep working. I need to get my hands on a couple more shulker boxes. So we are here in the shopping district. Just need a couple. Free samples. Okay, who doesn't love free samples? Oh, that doesn't sound good. Um. Uh, I'm a little trapped. False, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the assist, false. She, she, okay, okay, so, so, so false is running on, uh, the platform of saving people from zombies. Totally makes sense. Considering false just saved me, I think I can, uh, pretty clearly narrow down my selection a little bit for mayor. Uh, I've already put, a, a, a in an interest poll vote thing? A block. I've put a block in for false and for uh, stress. And I think I can safely say I'm, I'm fairly in false's camp at the moment. I was so distracted by all that that I almost forgot to actually get shulker boxes. <laughs> I need a couple of these. That's the whole reason I came here <laughs> in the first place. <laughs> what are you doing, self? Uh, I'm just going to get like two. I just need a couple to store. Just a few things. Let's just grab like these two right here. Well, I think we have done it. I think the interior of the house is actually finished, or at least almost finished. So hopping in, I've shown you the kitchen, but we've added kind of this. Uh... You guys are going to laugh at me for this. 
I decided this is going to be a grand entrance hall. It'll be great. You enter the, into the house, you're in a grand entrance hall. Yeah, hey, genius self, this is not the main door. <laughs> the main door leads into the kitchen. So this is um, it, it, it's a grand entrance hall attached to the wrong door. It, but planning. 10 out of 10. Well done. Oh. <laughs> but it looks nice. At least it looks nice. We have sort of this grand hall here. Uh, I added sort of a map up on the wall there because I wasn't really sure what else I would use to fill that space. And I think this works really well. Um, added some plants and things. Over here we've got kind of like a little armory, um, which I think is looking pretty nice. Eventually I want to have diamond armor on both of these two armor stands. Fully enchanted, replace this, you know, basically have this be a if I die, I've got extra stuff ready to go um, right here. We'll keep some backup tools and stuff uh, here eventually. Uh, for anyone who was wondering, these go down to my mines. That's all it is. It's a bubble vader and a drop shoot to get down to my mines down below. Um, over here, we've got the kitchen. You've already seen that. Grand dining hall and this little flower you've seen. We added kind of like a little reading area over in this corner. A couple of bookshelves, another little bench um, nothing super fancy right here. And then going upstairs, uh, this is the part that hasn't been finished yet. This is going to be more storage, chests and barrels, basically, kind of like our wall o chests down here. Um, but I need to get all the chests and stuff made and put in place. Uh, we've got kind of a sort of another little living room lounge type area over here, you know, corner uh, a uh, a corner couch and some bookshelves a little desk in the corner uh and then on the uh, balcony out here nothing super fancy either uh i have decided that this right here marked out with the red carpet would be an excellent place for one of vintage beef's pianos i think that would fit super well right here it would not only fill up this space it would look really nice I think it would really fit kind of the vibe of this room. Uh, and then the storage is going to start right about here-ish on this block. So I think that'll work out really well. Um, there's also a lot of little lighting hidden. There's lighting hidden under carpets. There's uh, lighting hidden in a lot of kind of sneaky ways, like um, right here. Lighting, <laughs> you know, just little ways to kind of hide the lighting and stuff. But all in all, I think this looks really good. I'm I'm quite happy with it. I think this is uh, honestly one of the better interiors that I've probably ever done, because I am really not much of an interior guy. Uh, and it's something that I'm trying really hard to get better at this season. It's on my goal. It's one of my goals. That's one of my goals for season seven is to just get better at interiors. Because I, I have a very nasty habit of building a really, you know, pretty beautiful building on the outside. And then you open a door and it's like, oh, look, there's nothing inside. <laughs> um, so, eh, you know, anyway, uh, I think I'm going to head over to the shopping district and I am going to purchase one of those pianos, the, the pianos from Vintage Beef, put in an order for that. And then I'll meet up with you. Well, here we are. And this is what the piano is gonna look like. I think it's actually a gorgeous design. And I think he uses like gas heads or something like that right in here for the keys. Um, it's seven diamond blocks, which is pretty expensive, but you know, support the local economy, buy, uh, buy from businesses. I could just like shamelessly rip off the design, but I'm not about that. <laughs> um, I will, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll actually order uh, the piano. I do not, however, see a place to pay for it or actually buy it. So I guess I'll just shoot him a message on Discord or something. Because if there's somewhere to pay for this thing, I am definitely not seeing it anywhere. Like, I, yeah, there's, there's no chest or anything for the piano orders, so... Um, like this, the, the Dark Side of the Mood map, which is also amazing, by the way. Totally want one of these, um, but I think they're, uh, like, several. They're pretty expensive as well. But anyway, 
I don't see a place to pay for the the piano. I think I'll just shoot him a message on Discord and uh, and order it that way because you know it is what it is. But anyway, I am gonna get the piano. It is gonna go in the spot that I marked out with the red carpet, and it's gonna look beautiful. This video has already taken me a lot longer than I wanted it to, partly because interior design in Minecraft is a extremely slow and tedious process, but also because in case you hadn't noticed. There's been some things happening out there in the real world. We are literally witnessing history in the making. Over the last week, I have found it very difficult to focus on work instead of what's going on. I find myself constantly refreshing the news and social media. As both a veteran and someone who spent many years working in criminal law, I believe I have a somewhat unique perspective on some of this stuff, and I've been posting regularly about some of my thoughts on Twitter, as well as putting out general information like the difference between first, second, and third degree murder, and insight into how the criminal justice system actually works. I'm not going to restate everything that I've said on Twitter for this video. If you are interested, you can find it all there. However, I will say this. I don't give a damn. And I use that word deliberately because this is important enough to warrant it. I don't give a damn about the color of your skin, who you love, your religious beliefs, what political party you belong to, or any other description that people may use to categorize you. Good people are always welcome in my community, and all it takes to be a good person in my book is to follow the golden rule of treating others as you wish to be treated. As long as you are willing to treat others with respect, you are welcome here. We don't always have to agree, and in fact, we often won't. But life does not have to be defined by us versus them, left versus right, or rich versus poor. I believe in the ideals of America and the rights of the people codified in the U.S. Constitution. I believe in justice. And I believe that America, and not just America, but rather the world, needs change. We are desperately in need of equality, unity, and mutual respect and understanding. An actual dialogue is long overdue. It's time to set aside our differences and talk, rather than vilifying those who disagree with our own views. We must be better today in order to create a better tomorrow. Now, I know that there are probably some people who want me to say more, or others who will think I have not said enough. I've seen plenty of people over the last week telling other creators to stay in their lane, or demanding they do more. Let me make this abundantly clear. I will exercise my own voice in the way that I so choose. I will choose to speak or not to speak in the manner which I deem to be morally right, not just in regards to these events, but always. I will not compromise my integrity nor my moral courage. If the way I've handled this situation over the last week bothers you, that's okay. Find one of the many other talented creators out there to watch or set it aside and continue watching me. The choice is yours. Just as the choice to speak or not to speak is mine. You owe me nothing. I will respect your choice either way and I ask that you respect mine. I'm back in the shopping district to pick up a couple of things. I got that storage room all finished up and I'm in the process of kind of labeling and moving everything now. And I came to the shopping district to get a little bit of wood and I noticed that it has been get gorgeousified. <laughs> it's, oh, it's fantastic. I wonder if that's a prank. Like, I wonder if this was, uh, like, an actual ad campaign on the part of Stress, or if this was just a prank. I, I genuinely don't know. But Rendog's uh, log blimp ha has been get 
gorgeousified. Um, <laughs> which is pretty fun. It's pretty fantastic. All right, so what I came here for is just a stack of dark oak logs, and then here we go. One stack of jungle logs as well, just for labeling purposes. Um, that's actually all I need. I'm going to head back to the base and show you what I've done. So here we go. This is the downstairs storage. I've moved a lot of stuff around. Basically, the, the, the premise of the idea is that blocks, building blocks, go downstairs. So we've got all of our stone and dirt and wood and all that kind of stuff. Building blocks go downstairs, like so. Oh, also, Hermit Herald. Get gorgeous. It, it's just a giant stress ad campaign for this issue of the Hermit Herald. Or the Hermit and Herald. It's, it's just an ad. <laughs> anyway, so downstairs, as I said, is uh, basically just blocks. That's where all the building blocks and stuff like that go. And then upstairs is where the air quotes items go. So stuff like iron and ingots, coal, mob drops, flowers, food, crafted items, uh, redstone components, you know, etc., etc. That's what goes upstairs. We do have a lot of unused storage around the base as well, throughout the house. Lots of barrels and chests and stuff that we're not making use of. But I really don't want to make use of them as well. Because unless they're in like a designated spot and labeled in some way, I will just lose them. Uh, I'll, I'll, whatever goes in there will never be found again. If I'm like, oh, I'm gonna randomly use this barrel to store enchanted books, I, I'll never find those books again. <laughs> they'll be, they'll be lost in the void forever. So I wanna make sure that I've got everything pretty much clearly labeled. Now this storage that we have between this storage wall and this storage wall down here, it's definitely not gonna be enough. Uh, we're, we're definitely going to need way more storage than this as the season goes on. Uh, so we will need to build like a proper storage room at some point, but for now, this should get the job done. It, we should be okay, at least for the time being, and uh, before we build our proper storage room, um, if we need more space, I can dip into some of the various storage that we have hidden, you know, kind of throughout the base. Like over here, for example, I've got all of my tools and stuff because it makes sense to have tools and armor in the armory. I, I think that's a sensible place to put it. So, you know, if we can find a way to put it somewhere that makes sense, uh, I think we'll be OK. So there we go. Honestly, I'm really happy with our progress this episode. I know it's a little bit of a shorter episode, but we got a lot done. And the problem with doing interior design is that it's an extremely lengthy process uh, that's very kind of tedious to watch. A lot of it is putting something down, staring at it for a little bit and deciding, nah, I think I'd like this better three blocks to the left and then moving it over. So it's a process that takes hours and hours and hours when realistically you're only putting down maybe like, I don't know, 10 minutes worth of blocks over the course of like two hours or something like that. So, um, you know, it's one of those things that just kind of requires a lot of cuts and, and editing and stuff to make it uh, appear more interesting. But honestly, I'm very happy with our progress. The house honestly is basically done at this point. We're just literally waiting on Beep's piano to be delivered. And I did send him a message. So hopefully that will get done within the next couple days. And then the interior of the house will be absolutely 100 percent complete unless we decide to add a basement down here, which I am still undecided on. But anyway, guys, I think that is all that I have time for today. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.